What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny 2. In today's video, we're taking a look at the best ways to earn spectral pages, more importantly as a solo player, and the fastest way to convert them into manifested pages. So if you're looking to earn the lore from this season's Festival of the Lost and earn yourself the headless horsepower exotic sparrow, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below, and remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. We are fast approaching 100,000 subs here on the channel, and just over 70% of the viewers aren't currently subscribed so be sure to hit that red button and ring that bell to make sure you don't miss an update but without further delay guys let's jump into the video now upon the weekly reset on the 12th of october we got a brand new festival of the lost this year sees the introduction of haunted sectors headless one enemies and also the book of the forgotten over in the tower now in order to complete the book of forgotten you need to earn manifested pages now to get these you first need to earn spectral pages and these drop from pretty much any activity in the game now you can hold up to 75 spectral pages at any one time and regardless if you hit that cap or not you can jump into the haunted sectors and for every headless one enemy that you defeat this will convert the spectral page into a manifested page now there are some great methods to farm this as a fire team but in this video today we're focusing on the solo player so if you're not able to get fire teams together but want to find the fastest and easiest way to earn these pages then let's jump straight into it now the first method we're going to take a look at is via the cryptolith lure now this is from season of the hunt back in season 12 and to earn lure charges you can earn these from completing pretty much any activity in the game now if you have access to season 12 you'll have a choice of five rap on hunts now these can include the high celebrant however here here we're looking for the fastest one possible. Now the fastest out of the five available is via the Prey mod and is the Fallen Rathbon Savic. This is located over on the Tangled Shore and can be completed very quickly. Once you've reached the landing zone in the Tangled Shore, you want to make your way over to the Cryptolith Lure. Here you'll find a Fallen Rathbon. Now for this particular Rathbon hunt, this is a Fallen Servitor and you'll need to do as much damage as possible to make them scatter the area. Now once the Servitor is on the run, we'll need to give chase and locate a new Cryptolith. Now by locating this small cryptolith, this will allow us to continue the Rapborn hunt and enter the final encounter itself. And once you load into the second stage of the Rapborn hunt, we'll need to reset our cryptolith lure. If we bring that up from the quest tab, click reset lure, this allows us to get our lore mods back. This means it doesn't consume any of the lore charges in the cryptolith, meaning we can repeat this process over and over again without the need to re-earn any of those lore charges. It saves us loads of time, and as I just said, allows us to repeat this process over and over. Once you enter the final boss chamber you'll need to activate the cryptolith once again this will spawn the fallen servitor who we need to take out in order to spawn savik who is the final boss of this rapborn hunt now some of the quickest ways to take out both of these targets is using linear fusion rifles or even 1000 voices is a fantastic option too swords is also a potential option but an important thing to remember is you still need the wrathful debuff in order to do damage to savik himself so if this debuff runs out and you're using a sword you may not be standing in the right area in order to refresh your buff now each completion will grant you six spectral pages and also just over 300 candy. And once you defeat Savik, you'll have a mission end screen with a 30 second timer. Now at this stage, you need to abandon the activity and this will help you to retain your Cryptolith lure charges. And once you abandon the activity, you'll spawn back out in the Fawn Horned Gulch and you'll need to reapply your Cryptolith lures and repeat the process of rerunning that Rathborn hunt. This is something that you can do entirely solo, but if you have a full fire team, you can bring the completion time down considerably. So much so that you don't need to rerun the first part of the rap on hunt itself that in itself saves you loads of time meaning that you can just run the boss fight over and over but if you aren't able to get those fire teams together then this is the way that you can do it as a solo player so that's one way of farming spectral pages as a solo player but what if you don't have access to rap on hunts and the season 12's content but with that in mind we can take a look at a great alternative that you can do out in the wild now these come in the form of public events and they don't even need to be heroic now the best place to do this is over in the european dead zone as there are public events available all the time now the reason that you don't need to make them heroic is that the rewards from them in terms of spectral pages is either two or three each time regardless of the fact if it's heroic or not so a thing to bear in mind is depending on the public event that you have available think to yourself is this one faster as a normal public event and burning through the boss or is it faster as a heroic public event now the great thing about public events is they're available to absolutely every everyone and they're much more efficient to run even as a solo player now the reason behind that is that you can double dip on most of the public events in the european dead zone now double dipping is where you melt through the activity as fast as humanly possible and upon completing that you reload into the same area 
Now, by doing this, this hopefully loads you into a different instance, which is also partaking in the same event. Now, if you're fortunate enough, you will load into a new public event. And if you can complete that one as well, you will earn double the rewards from the public event that you've just run. Now, if you're quick enough with your public events, you can run two back to back in between 90 seconds to two minutes. Each one will grant you at least two or three spectral pages and at least 210 candy each time. So in theory, if you can complete public events back to back, you could potentially earn more than Rathborn hunts themselves. But if you're looking for a more consistent way which guarantees you an amount of spectral pages for each and every run alongside the candy, then Rap on Hunts is certainly the most consistent way to do it. It really depends on what content you have available, and ultimately, can you put yourself through hours and hours of Rap on Hunts, or just hang out with some friends out in the European Dead Zone? The choice is entirely yours, but both of those offer great sources of spectral pages and can be completed in roughly the same amount of time. If you've maxed out your spectral pages and have 75 in your inventory, and you've got loads of candy, what do you do now? Now, from here we need to jump into Haunted Sectors. These can be accessed via the node over in the tower, and is a playlist activity. So once again, you don't need a fire team to get this activity done. Now, as you run through the haunted sectors, you'll need to defeat headless ones. Now, these can be summoned via the summoning circles. And by defeating those, these will help you manifest your spectral pages. Now, you can spawn up to 10 headless ones in a single run, with additional headless ones being available during the final boss fight itself. Now, as you defeat headless ones, you'll see the on-screen prompt on the left update. And once you defeat the final boss, all your manifested pages will drop from the final chest of the activity itself. This will be alongside loads of candy but also additional Festival of the Lost Loot. Now, once you have your manifested pages, you'll need to return to the Book of the Forgotten over in the tower. Now, there are 27 pages of the Tales of the Forgotten that we'll need to earn throughout the activity. Now, here you can hand in any of your manifested pages, and this will unlock additional lore entries for this particular event. Now, for any candy that you've earned along the way, you can purchase additional Festival masks from Eva Levante once again over in the tower. And towards the end of the event, you can use this candy to purchase additional mystery bags. So make sure to use up that candy before the end of the event to make sure you don't miss out on that sweet loot. Once you've unlocked all 27 entries of the Tales of the Forgotten, you'll get your hands on the Headless Horsepower. This is a brand new exotic sparrow that was introduced as part of this Festival of the Lost event this season, so be sure to not miss out on it and get farming those spectral pages. Now, as for Festival of the Lost itself, I believe this is a great improvement over previous events and the Haunted Sectors are a lot more fun to run either solo or with your friends than the haunted forest was in previous events not only this some of the cosmetics are some of the best we've seen and this includes the sparrows ships and the incredible dinosaur armor maybe next year we'll see monster armor as that was the other choice that we had available to us as a community but be sure to let me know who you sided with with either hashtag dinosaur or hashtag monsters down in the comments below so there we have it guys, a good look at how you can solo spectral pages as part of Festival of the Lost. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.